Watching the American Athletic Conference on ESPN. Welcome to Tulsa, Oklahoma. We're at the Collins Family Home against the Golden Hurricane of Tulsa. Here's your Mazio Sooners starting lineup, 46 to 10. Kylie Nash is the starting pitcher for the Golden Hurricane. In games, this will be her 17th start, and there are the glossy numbers for Jada Coleman, meaning Big 12 Player of the Week. And on the 3-1, that one misses away. And again, you have Kylie Nash nipping it pitches so we'll see what happens here is are they gonna go small ball you just let her swing away with one on and nobody out she bangs that one to third skaggs has it and makes the out at first coleman moves to second and so sanders average a little low but she's been hot lately really well she gets that weak contact that ball's hit high in the air shallow left going back is shortstop edwards and imani edwards makes the catch Two down here in the morning, and she, she said that she's the best shortstop she's ever had. And has become. That one's away, and it gets away from Riley Keith, and Coleman advances to third. Either a wild pitch or a pass strikes to Lyons. Pops that one high in the air to center field, and Morgan awaits, and the Tulsa center fielder makes the catch. And coming along, and Imani Edwards has been solid all season long. 14 and 1 on the season, ERA 1.10. Well, she's 14 and 1, but she's the only one to lose a game this year for the Sooners. <laughs> There's a bouncer to third, and Brito takes care of it. Alyssa Brito, the third baseman, and there is, has scored 20 runs, two doubles, a triple, no home runs, nine RBIs, and is really the. That one chopped towards shortstop. Big hop for Lyons and just barely gets her at first. Denson has good speed. She had two errors in the same game, and since then she's been pretty stellar at shortstop. Just a great defense. 83 average. She scored 23 times. And what I like about her is she's a gap to gap winning pitcher. That one lined right into the glove of Brito at third base, and that is it for Tulsa in the first inning. Not much to do has had a habit of jumping on teams in the first and second innings. And here's Haley Lee scoring the game. Neither team has a hit. And there's a liner back to the mound, and Kylie Nash catches it. And it, off the bat, that looked like it was hit really solid. 27 runs, four doubles, a triple, 10. See if Hansen gets the green light, and that one is dipping down low on the drop ball. So Hansen gets the walk. Alyssa Brito, the batter now. She transferred from Oregon. Uh, really made an impact, especially late in the season and in postseason. That one hit high in the air down the right field line. Long run for Kennedy Kramer, and Kennedy Kramer catches up to it, makes the grab. Offensive outfielder has played some left field this year for Ed. And, you know, it's not just her bat, it's her speed. I think that's what Coach Gasso really is impressed with her. 0-1. That one lined to center field, but caught by Jones, the second baseman. So another ball kind of just off the end of the bat for the Sooners. It's Clara Skaggs on the year. Breakout year for her, 282. That one lined right to the shortstop. Lyons not going to miss that one. And there's one down here in the second. And exactly what happened there? We have Skaggs at first base, so we may go back and look at that. Her leadoff hitter aboard. Now Bearpaw with the bunt. She gets it down. The throw goes to first. And Tulsa has a runner in scoring position. 14 RBI. She also has five doubles for Tulsa. Play this year. And a changeup gets her. So Keith waves at that one, and now Celeste base hits. Broke out of a slump and says she's feeling more comfortable. And I asked her, well, do you make it? Now it's three and two, big pitch. And she gets her with a fastball. So Wood strikes out. That's it for Tulsa. They do get a runner aboard. Through these um, adjustments. Yeah, and of course, this is the first time through seeing Kylie Nash. Off hitter in the third. And a slow roller to the right side, scooped up by Celeste Wood, and Wood gets the out. One down, and we go to the bag with that ball still in your hand. That's <laughs> kind of scary. It's it, it's so easy, it makes you nervous, doesn't it? Yeah. That pop to deep left field. Back is Denson, has room, and makes the grab. Two outs here in the third inning, and it's first count here. That's a very good pitch, and the Tulsa fans are furious that that wasn't called a strike. Home plate umpire Brent Harden said nope. And Sanders, as we mentioned, had been coming on late. 
Last five games hitting 500, and that one's blooped toward the middle of the diamond and through for a base hit. Holding at second base is Jennings, and that was inches away from being a the center field. Yeah, a little bit of a miss hit, but you know that when you're strong, you have that power, you can really find a way to get into the outfield, and that's exactly Two balls, one strike. Grounder toward the middle and a big high hop and it goes off of the glove of the Tulsa shortstop and that'll mean a run. All the way into score is Jennings. It looked like she was just ready to make that step on second base, took her eyes off the ball just for a split second. Play on that hop and it just kind of got her up. What she did and what does it result in? Their first run versus. Yep, her first time up. That's back up the middle, and that's through for a base hit. Sanders around third. She will score. It's 2-0 Oklahoma. 2-0 lead with their second base hit. Nice approach by Haley Lee at the plate. Went with the pitch. Got it. Just says they were really going well. They had two outs at the top of the top or top of the third. Kinsey Hansen was injured to the power laden Wichita State team. There's a bouncer to shortstop, and the play at second made by Imani Edwards, and that'll do it. Kylie Nash leading it off for Tulsa. That's a third base shot that is nicely fielded by Brito, who makes the play. One down here in the third inning, and Abby, do you see her batting average? Last year she hit 301. This year she has just been unable to. I think that's one thing I really enjoy about watching these college softball players at a high level. Really can fine tune a lot of their swings just looking at video and practice off the team. Number one OU. Morgan grounded out to third her first time up. Tulsa has yet to. Ooh, a change up and she got her. So that is it. A one, two, three inning. The first, the uh, second one, two, three inning. In this ball game, she flied out to right field on a good play in foul territory by Kennedy. And that's what Patty said. They really vet the ones coming in because uh, it's tough joining this team when they're playing at such a high level and you want to, don't want to mess up any of the chemistry. Pitcher who hit and lined out to second base. And so here is Torres with her first. That one towards shortstop. Edwards will make the play at first. One down. Rito got a pretty good build uh, over the weekend in the series against Kansas. So she brings a lot of pop to the play. That one, I think, hit her. Yep. Looked like it got her on the hand or arm. So, boom. There's athletic talent came from. Yeah, Hall of Famer, you're right, Bosco Clone. Here's Jade runs in the Kansas series and hits that one high in the air, but certainly not deep enough as Morgan comes in. And there are two down. Give Kylie turned runs, the only two on the board in this one. And here's T.R.A. Jennings, Rivers, Michigan. That one right back to her, and she gets out of the inning, and that is it for OU in the fourth inning. They do threaten with California. As a drop, a change, curve, rise ball, .43, making her fourth relief appearance. The numbers. That's a bouncer back to the mound, one down. I think with Nicole May, it was just the start of her season. It was the final out of the first inning. Tulsa has yet to get a base hit the hitters of the hurricane. That one blooped down the left field line, long run, diving attempt, safe, and now trying to go for two as Edwards, and Edwards is out at first base. She wouldn't have took that chance unless she knew she could get to it. Uh, works out in Oklahoma's favor. Jennings and... We're in number seven. Checked her swing, did she go around? Yes, she did, according to the third base umpire, Chad Spittler. That's it for two scoring two unearned runs in the third. Uh, is really making an impact in this lineup. That ball hit fairly well to center. Drifting on it is Haley Morgan, and Morgan tracks it down right at the warning track. Ball stadium, and here's Grace Lyons. Reached on an error, and that's Lyons. That one hard hit toward third, and that's a very nice play by Clara Skaggs, two down. Haley Lee, the back in inning, and then singled in the third, and that was a base hit up the middle that scored the second, was injured, and then the COVID hit, and she's done really well in her career at TU and doing really well here today as another bouncer to Clara Skaggs. Bear paw doesn't... 
There's a bouncer third base way. Ooh, takes a hard hop, but what a nice reaction by Brito. It would be about her offense all the time. We talk about her pitching, but de defense is where it's at with her. She really with the score at two nothing. She'd love to see that. And on the changeup, she gets her on the two two. Nice job by Nicole May of Winston Salem, North Carolina. Will pitch against Celeste Wood. A pitcher? Well, maybe. <laughs> It's going to just mature her a lot for the game. Get used to being a college player. A pop-up fielded by second baseman Jennings, and that is it for Tulsa very well in this game. Kylie Nash has gone five innings, allowed two hits, no earned runs. Scheduled for last week. Rain moved it, and we didn't know if it was going to be rescheduled, and they did move it to Tuesday. It's just opportunities to play, and I think that's so important for these young players. And the shot, the shortstop, ends up being an out, registered by Edwards and Woods. And Kylie Nash has done a very good job of pitching out. of That one lined to center field and a base hit. Third base hit of the game for OU. And it's a solid single by Alyssa Brito. So Erickson will come in as a pinch hitter. Park she is, as you see there, the six home runs, 30 RBIs, also eight doubles, one out and one on. That one sliced to left field, trouble, and a base hit. Runners hold up, low pitch, and she just went down and golfed it, basically. Off the bat, looked like it might be an out, but. This offense, Bruce, when you look at it, two hits going through five innings. Uh, I know it's not what Patty got. Thought about doing that, and now they've got a little bit of a rundown going between second and third. Abby Jones with the late Tony Edwards with the tag out. They Maybe a little miscommunication there, but Tulsa played it well. For Patty Gasco, these are the things that... Erickson moves up to second for OU, so she's at least in scoring position, and that's a base hit. They're going to send Erickson. And the throw toward home. Nope, they're going to hold her up. Boy, they, she didn't get hit like by that might. ground Yeah, ball, right? that's one of those plays where you, you lost a couple steps there. Not send. Jocelyn Erickson, and now you have all numbers. 3-1 pitch. Popped up, right side playable. Jones going out, Kramer coming in, and Jones calls her off in the second transfer from Michigan. And Michelle Montaigne down the third base line, the third base strikes, important leadoff hitter for Tulsa. And she gets her with the changeup. Boy, their changeups have been really good. The corner, but it didn't. And the count is 0-1. What we've seen from Abby Jones, no hits. There's a swing and a miss. And that one was that upper 60s fastball. Just one base hit from Imani Edwards. There's a bouncer to the left side, and that one takes a hop into left field. And that's a base hit. A little bit of what we mentioned that we're longtime teammates with the Texas Glory. That one rolled to the right side. Going to be a tough play, safe at first. Denson able to get it. You know, go ahead, runs at the plate, tying run to first. That's what you want when you're in the sixth inning. Blooper, but well placed for the first base hit for Tulsa in the game. That ball hit high in the air to medium depth center. Coleman awaits, and that's it for the Golden Hurricane. They threaten here in the sixth game, turned aside. We head now to the seventh inning. It's still 2 0. OU hits. For the Golden Hurricane, each team has committed one error. Here, she did not play. Tulsa did still wanted her, and obviously she's come and had a very good career. Unfortunately for her, though, that's off walks. Usually come back to bite you, and in this game, this is the third. So says, you know, sometimes there's a little sophomore slump, so you just have to work through it. Tulsa gets the out at first on the sacrifice bunt, but that's a good sacrifice bunt by Sanders as it sets to our left, and that... Probably was a little difficult catch as well. Sacrifice season for all, for any of the teams. 3-0 pitch outside, and so now Nash has walked two, and there are two on with one down as Grayson. Quincy Lilio. Lilio coming in as a pinch hitter, left hand against the power-laden Wichita State team over the Wigent. Change up down low, ball four. So three walks in the inning have loaded the bases. Was actually out on a base running gaff later on in the inning. She's also.
That ball hit high, deep, and gone. Alyssa Brito. It is six nothing Sooners. She got one up in the strike zone and didn't miss it. What you maybe didn't see there was so or was Sophia Nugent talking to John Lil, uh, Lilio. That's a change up bounce to the right side. Abby Jones makes the play, and that will be in the bottom of the sixth inning with two on and two out. With the win. balls one strike to Clara Skaggs. And that one served into left center for a base hit. So Skaggs has a base knock for Tulsa. That's in the fifth. Anything can happen, and I think that's what you want to do is use that East Carolina series to build some momentum. A 2-2 high fastball and bear paw. Swings through it. Gives her glove a hard slap before receiving the ball. No balls to the seventh, and OU in command at 6 nothing. And that's it for Riley Keith as she chases a high one. Two down here in the seventh. You're in that, you're in that at bat. And the 1-0. That ball popped up in the infield, waiting for it as Lions makes the catch. And Oklahoma has won 30 game in a truly Oklahoman rivalry, if you will, Oklahoman series.